Hello everyone, it's Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, a premier executive resume writing company, and thank you so much for joining me today. So, today we're gonna to talk about thank you notes. Should you send them, should you not send them? And I'm gonna give you my opinion and let you decide. As with every piece of advice that you get from me or anyone else, it's really ultimately your decision. You should never follow anything blindly. You wanna make sure you evaluate it to your situation and then decide and take action. So with that said, should you send a thank you note or should you not send a thank you note after an interview, after really any part of the process? Um, and here's my opinion. So personally, I like sending and getting thank you notes. I do forget often, you know, obviously I'm not looking for a job, so I'm just saying in general, um, I do send them often enough. I love getting them. I don't get them every time, you know, I've done something for somebody. They sometimes say thank you or they text thank you. You know, when you're in a business setting, such as a meeting that somebody granted you or an introduction that someone did for you or um, an interview that you had, um, as either the person granting the interview or the person attending the interview, right? As the interviewer or the interviewee, right? And, you know, I don't think it's really bad to say thank you. <laughs> so here's the thing, like, you know, I, I, instead of trying to, this is, I think, the, the mindset shift many of us need to do when we do this job search, when we conduct our career advancement in, in general. You know, obviously we wanna to try to meet people where they are. You wanna obviously connect with people. And, and I'm not dim diminishing the importance of that. I mean, we cannot go through life like bulls in a china shop that everybody's gotta, you know, revolve around us, right? However, we also can't react to what we think everyone needs to such an extreme that we're like contorting ourselves to be put into boxes that of expectation that people have of us. And if it makes you happy to give and receive thank you notes, by giving and receiving thank you notes, you may then in turn attract your tribe, attract your group, your people who like getting and receiving thank you notes, right? If you mistakenly send a thank you note to someone and they don't like thank you notes and maybe you lose the job because they're like, oh, thank you note, ew, <laughs> one of those people. You know, you have to remember, they're gonna be that person who doesn't like thank you notes on the job too. And they're not gonna give you one and they're not gonna appreciate the fact that you gave them one. So you might be left feeling unfulfilled every time you give or receive one or not receive one in an environment where that's not valued, where thank you notes maybe aren't valued. So do what you feel is right for you. Do what is in alignment with your goals, your values, you know, your, your mission, your purpose, all those, all those things. Right. And if in taking a stand, you alienate some people who don't like what you've done, I don't necessarily think that's bad. You know, obviously you may have to bend more and acquiesce more if you need the job. And sometimes we need the job. I'm not denying that reality. I've been there before. So, um, but if you do have a little bit of, of wiggle room, you know, dare I say even luxury of being a little bit more choosy, then, you know, take a stand about some core values that you have. And that can also be not sending a thank you note, right? So if you don't send a thank you note, and as a result, maybe lose to someone who did send a thank you note, and that company values thank you notes, you know, is that bad? I mean, you know, in, in in certain markets around the country, around the globe, where there's talent shortages in certain disciplines and certain geographies and certain industries, you know, every candidate has their pros and cons about their candidacy. And if a fully qualified candidate is truly the most qualified, the subpar um, candidates or, you know, and subpar is probably too strong a word. It's just the word coming to mind right now. The candidates that aren't as qualified if they're, the, the ones that aren't as qualified are sending thank you notes and the one who's most qualified in every respect is, doesn't send a thank you note, chances are the person who's most qualified is probably gonna still get the job, right? So I'm just saying like, you got to do what you think is right, knowing you may attract and repel your audience and all of it's okay. 
because part of being happy at a job is being around people who value similar things that you do. And I like being around people who like to be told thank you and tell me thank you, right? So I don't think that's a bad trait to have. So that's the thing. Like, instead, if you can't figure it out, default to what you would want done to you. That's how I try to live my life. It's a little golden rule-ish, right? Do unto others as you would do unto you. But don't overthink it. Don't mentally put yourself into, you know, a contortion, make yourself into a mental pretzel, trying to figure out what they want. You know, if, if it's clear to you or you do the research, you get an understanding that, you know, thank you notes are important, thank you notes are not important, thank you notes are absolutely despised, act accordingly. But if, if doing the research, you can't figure it out. Go with what your gut's telling you to do based on what you would want done to you. All right, so that's my answer whether to send it or not to send it. It's just do what your gut tells you to do. And if you forget to do it, odds are you're probably still fine. And you got to just keep moving forward, right? So you can't lament, backpedal, you know, you just got to accept that maybe there was a reason you didn't send it in the universe kind of thing. With that said, there are studies that show thank you notes when done improperly, done poorly, can kill someone's chances. So there is this camp of, you know, job search coaches, you know, interview coaches, career coaches that say don't send one because if you have an error or you do it poorly, you can kill your chances. Where if you send nothing, there's nothing to squelch, right? So not a, not a t totally terrible perspective at all, <laughs> right? Um, so the key is if you're going to do one, make sure it's good, make sure it's concise, Make sure it's done properly and, you know, make sure that it's typo free. So that's the key, I think, is one, trust your gut after, you know, one, do some research. In absence of definitive research to send or not send, the key is to then trust your gut. And if your gut is telling you to do one or your research tells you to do one, the key is to do it well, right? So I have a little... Uh, writing thank you notes uh, template ebook that's uh, for purchase there down below. You can grab that. Um, and, you know, the key is to trust your gut. You've done some great work, right? You've had some impressive credentials that you've amassed over your career. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat a thank you note or no thank you note. Like just do what's best for you. Do what you would want done to you. And then just do it the best way you can. That's my advice to you. So with that said, thank you so much for watching today. If uh, you know someone who will benefit from this video, I'm going to ask you to share it. If you liked it, I'm going to ask you to like it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or email me at lr at chameleonresumes.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you do not miss next week's video. And if you wanted to grab my ebook below, you can just do that in the description or in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. Trust your gut, trust yourself, and have a great day.